Hello and welcome to History Short and today we will look at the 10 popular Afghan players of all time. Before we begin, if you are not a member of this channel, subscribe, like and share. Number 10. Yaya Toure Crowned African Footballer of the Year four times and helping Ivory Coast to the 2015 Afghan titles, having previously been twice runners-up, Toure's praised on the list is well merited. Won two La Liga titles at Barcelona and three Premier League titles with the Manchester City, where he truly developed as a global star and was a driving force behind the club's success. Toure, who began his career as a striker, later became a defensive midfielder, but evolved into a box-to-box -box player throughout his career. Number 9. Nuanko Kanu Twice African Footballer of the Year, Kanu stood out for his unorthodox yet highly successful style of play. Standing at 1.97 meters with a slender frame, yet notable physical strength, Kanu was an elegant footballer whose movement on pitch intelligence, nimble football, and technical ability were notable. The striker represented Nigeria at three World Cups and while he won Olympic gold in 1996, the Super Eagles continually fell just short in the Afghan. He won the Champions League with Ajax, UEFA Cup with Inter and multiple Premier League titles with Arsenal alongside multiple other trophies. Number 8. JJ Okocha So good, they named him twice. Okocha's sublime technical ability and flair with was eye-catching, making him one of the most gifted players of his generation. Won the AFCON in 1994 and secured Olympic gold with the Super Eagles two years later while he was an AFCON joint top scorer and the competition's outstanding individual in 2004. Staring at Fenerbahce, Paris Saint-Germain and Bolton, among others, Okocha never won a league title and for a player of his ability, his trophy cabinet is surprisingly underwhelming. Despite this, Okocha was aesthetically a joy and he made football fun with his range of outrageous tricks and dealing talent. He will remain an African footballing icon. Number 7. Michael Essien Unquestionably one of the greatest African players of all time and one of the best midfielders of this century, Isien's lack of success with Ghana prevents him from ranking higher. His best achievement with his nation were one World Cup appearance and an Afghan runner-up in 2010, paling in contrast to his wonderful club career. Having broken onto the scene with the superb Leon team, Isien arrived at Chelsea where he won two Premier League titles and the Champions League ended a glittering two-decade long club career in 2010. Number 6. Abedi Ayu, popularly known as Pele. One of the world's greatest players in the early 90s and named after the famous Brazilian Perez Tiered for Marseille. He helped them win back-to-back -back league one title, which he later won with the club in 1993. Pele won the AFCON with Ghana in 1982 and a decade later was named player of the tournament as the Black Stars lost in the final to the Ivory Coast. Named in the top three Africans of all time by IFFHS and a three-time player African Player of the Year winning, he unfortunately never had the chance to showcase his skills in a World Cup with Ghana. His sons, Ibrahim, Andre, and Jordan have also become internationals for Ghana. Number 5. Isam El Hadri El Hadri was a four-time Afghan winner with Egypt more than any other player in the competition's history. Capped 159 times by his nation, the decorated goalkeeper only played one season in Europe with Swiss club Sion. He kept three clean sheets in Afghan finals and was described by Didi as Drogba as his toughest ever opponent. He won a league title in Sudan with 
Al-Malik, but in Egypt he was supreme, winning the league with Al-Hali, al makabli eight times. At the age of 45, he played in the 2018 World Cup, the tournament's oldest ever player. Number four, Didier Drogba. A player who needs no introduction, Drogba's achievement at club level eclipsed those for the Ivory Coast. The African nation, who in the 2000s have promised so much but delivered so little prior to their 2015 African crown, which Jogba missed out on. Jogba won 17 trophies across his stints with Chelsea, including the 2012 Champions League title and Galatasaray, but never tasted success with less elephants. That means he just missed out on a top three spot here, despite twice winning the African Player of the Year award and is even credited with helping end a civil war in his homeland. Number three, Samuel Eto'o. Four-time African Player of the Year is the most successful African player to star at the top level of European football. Ito has won three champion leagues with Barcelona and Inter, while he was named Man of the Match as Baka defeated Arsenal in the 2006. The Cameroon striker also enjoys stints at Real Malonka, Chelsea, Everton and Sampdoria, among others. In a glittery, glittering career which encompassed over 400 professional goals, Ito won two AFCON tournaments and is a top scorer in the tournament's history while also scooping Olympic gold and representing the indomitable Lions in three World Cups. Number two, Loga Miller. Perhaps the most iconic African player of all time, Miller spearheaded the breakthrough Cameroon 2 team in the 1990 World Cup. He helped Cameroon become the first African team to reach the World Cup quarterfinals at the grand old age of 38, netting four goals and his dance around the corner flag. Celebration after scoring was well known. Twice African footballer of the year Miller also netted at the 1994 World Cup against Russia, meaning that age 42 is the oldest ever player to score in the competition. In 2007, the Confederation of African Football named Miller the best African player of the previous 50 years. His club career was less prolific. He did not he did net over 400 goals and played for several league one sides but never netted more than 13 goals in a single campaign in the top flight. Despite coming to a wider audience in 1990s, Miller's peak decade was the 1980s, helping the indomitable Lions to the 1984 and 1988 AFCON titles. Number one, George Weir. Named African Football of the Year three times, Weir's prominence in the 1990s led him to be nicknamed King George and being recognized as the greatest African player of the 20th century. In 1995, Weir became the first and so far, only African player to win the Ballon d'Or to add it to his European Football of the Year and FIFA World Player of the Year crowns for the year. Most famed for his stint with Milan, where he spearheaded the Rossoneri to two series, two Serie A titles. He also won six trophies across his powers in Monaco and Paris Saint Germain, while also winning the FA Cup with Chelsea. From the relatively tiny nation of Liberia, population 5 million, where never tasted success at international level but his influence of African football was profound. Known for his acceleration speed and delippling ability, along with his goal scoring talent, where was one of the 1990s great player. King George is currently the president of Liberia, having moved into politics. Let me know what you think about these African leaders who of the African great players have not been mentioned in this and what's your reason, what's your reason behind it. 
if this video is informative or entertaining and if you like it support the video by clicking subscribe like and share until next time bye bye